With any kind of creative work like photography, you're inevitably going to run into plateaus here and there. So I've compiled some tips that I personally use to get those creative juices flowing. And obviously everyone's different, so these might not work for you, but they should at least get you headed in the right direction. Most of these tips are going to be focused around portrait photography, but you can take the general concept and apply it to your area. First, just take a step back. Inspiration can be tricky. You never know when your next idea is going to hit you. It could be anytime, anywhere. So it's important to just take a break every once in a while, especially when you're feeling burnt out. And uh, just get refreshed. Go outside, go to your local park. Uh, just sit and observe. You can listen to your favorite music or listen to some music you've never heard before. You can't just brute force your way into creativity. It's something, it's something you need to let it come to you. And when you get an idea, write it down. Make sure, no matter what, a notepad and pen, your phone, a computer, doesn't matter. But if you write it down, you will never forget it. And then after a while, you can watch this list of ideas grow. Look at other people's work. It doesn't have to be your area of photography. It doesn't even have to be photography at all. You can try looking at different aspects of art, like drawing and painting. You can, you can find inspiration anywhere. Instagram has a great feature that lets you save any photo into a personal collection of yours. You can create multiple categories for organization and you can tap and hold the button to put the image straight into one of these categories. Browse different hashtags, uh, save, save different images that you find some kind of inspiration from. Before long you'll create this little collection of images you like and uh, Pinterest is another great way to compile images like this. Once you have this collection of images, go through them all and decide why you like each one. What is it about the image that interests you? Is it the way the model is posing? Is it the colors they use? The way they edited it? And be specific. Make a Google document of all of the individual aspects that you've liked and go over the list and see if there is any individual aspects that you could combine together to create your own original photograph. Once you've done this, create another Google Doc and start planning photo shoots that you can do in order to create these images that you've come up with using the specific aspects that you've liked from other people's photos. Plan things like what location do you need, what models do you need, gear, studio lights or natural light, Plan as much as you can and be as specific as you can. Now you've got a list of your own original photo shoots and you can keep adding to this list and you'll, before long you'll have a big list of all of, this, all of this creative juice. Get out of your comfort zone. Being comfortable with what you know in any creative media and no longer challenging yourself to kind of advance and grow can easily lead to becoming stagnant and feeling like you've hit a plateau. Maybe even losing that feeling of passion for what you love. This is what happened to me a while ago and it sucked. I felt that I was happy with the work that I was producing so I kept producing the same work. And for a while it was fine but before long I started feeling really burnt out. Um, I had I kind of lost the feeling of passion that I had for it. I took a bit of a break to refresh myself and then I jumped back in from a different angle. I started doing research again, I started trying new things again and I started getting excited to to put these new things that I've learned into my work and I kind of reignited this flame of passion. I felt kind of excited to do photography again like I, like I used to. I felt a new wave of creativity and passion and all it took was just to step outside my comfort zone. Try this. If you usually start planning a visual style of a photo you want to take, then try first coming up with a message you want to convey and then come up with the visual style as you're taking the photo. If you usually start with the message you want to convey with a photo, then try coming up with the visual style first. And if you don't do either of these, give them a go. If you usually shoot with female models, try male models. If you usually shoot in a studio, try natural lighting. 
if you usually shoot with a 50mm lens, try an 11mm lens. If you usually shoot in a specific location, go somewhere you've never gone before. Just keep trying new things, all the time. Even the most talented and professional photographers can learn something new. And there is always a photo that has never been taken before. Take those photos. And those were my tips for breaking through your creative plateaus. I really hope there was something in here that helped you. And remember, no one tip is going to work for everyone. So do lots of research and find the ones that work for you. Thanks for watching. Pinterest is another great. Pinterest is another great way to compile images like this. Right. Pinterest is another great way to compile.